Hi everyone, it's monthly favorites time! So today's video is going to show you my favorites for the month of April. Stay tuned, I hope you enjoy. My first favorite is the Maybelline Great Lash Transparent Mascara. I actually use this for my eyebrows. I recommend this to anyone that has bushy eyebrows and they don't need to uh, fill it in. Just shape them and then set them in place with a clear mascara and you're good to go. That's what I've been doing. My next favorite is another mascara but I actually use it as mascara. It's the Milani Runway Lashes. So I actually really like the brush on this. It is a fiber brush and I usually like rubber brushes so I was kind of surprised that I like this one and I've been using it all month. I still love my Maybelline Lash Sensational though so they can, they can both share the spotlight. My next favorite is by Milani again. They are the Bella Eyes Gel Eyeshadow line. I've been looking at this teal color for so long. When I finally decided to get it, I ended up getting a pink one. It was a highlighter. I didn't realize it was a highlighter until after. I will do a more in-depth video on my collection of the eyeshadows that I have so you guys can see them a little closer and I'll do swatches. This is the highlighter I got. This is the highlighter to the gods, okay? I love this highlighter. It's very pigmented but it blends in really smooth and you just see like a really light finish. You can see that there. I love it. So I have seven of them now and I can't wait to film that video for you guys and show you the swatches. My next favorite, it's a random favorite. It is the Philadelphia Cinnamon Brown Sugar Ch Cream Cheese. The, I was scared to try this because I tried the Philadelphia chocolate version kind of maybe I was hoping it would taste like Nutella even though Nutella has hazelnuts but the chocolate one was horrible but this one this one makes your bagel or your toast taste like pastry it tastes so good so if you see this do not be afraid try it my next favorite is the Garnier Fructis damage erase so damage eraser heal and seal this smells like heaven. I've been looking for a new conditioner. It has Kupoesu butter. That stuff smells amazing. This smells amazing. It's so fresh and clean and quite lovely. I was actually surprised at how well it worked and I I didn't leave it in longer than the 60 seconds. Normally I would go double the time that they say for a conditioner, but I didn't have a lot of time when I was conditioning my hair, so I had to do it fast. And I was so surprised at how well it softened my hair within that short amount of time. So if you ever see this, give this a try. My hair is super soft and I would say two days after I could still feel the effects that this had on my hair and I never feel that with any conditioner, deep conditioner, you know, those speed treatments, whatever. This one was pretty amazing. My last favorite is a body wash by Soft Soap. It's a limited edition vanilla and coconut macaron scented. I really like, it smells really nice. All I find that all the soft soap smells really nice. I was really hoping that this one would smell like dessert, but it doesn't, it just smells like vanilla and coconut mixed together. It smells really good but I really wanted it to smell like dessert but that's okay because it's still amazing and I love this brand and I was happy to try this limited edition especially when it was only about four dollars so hey. <laughs> well that's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you liked anything. If you tried anything let me know your favorites for the month of April. I am so sorry I'm snapping this. I just love them. I love the containers. I'll see you in my next favorites video. If you subscribe, then I guess I'll see you next week in a regular video. Bye, guys! So, today's video is showing you my favorites for the month of April.